Minecraft, the game with unlimited opportunities, playstyles, modes, maps and servers, the game where your creativity has no limit, the OG game where it is surprisingly still popular and fun. But how has Minecraft impacted our lives, the lives of the young generation in the modern world? So I've been playing Minecraft ever since I was 12 years old, and now I'm 19 years of age, studying medicine in university. This game is truly unique, it's, it's creative, and your own creativity is only bound by your own mind. And uh, I remember I was playing Minecraft on and off for around 7 years or so, and when I was 12 years old, I started building Minecraft maps on my phone because I was still playing Minecraft Pocket Edition. And I actually built some quite successful maps, got a few thousands of downloads online, played by a few popular MCP YouTubers at that time. Minecraft will always have a special place in my heart, like, uh, I, and I believe it will be for many other people as well. Like, I've been building maps, playing servers. Now I'm at the first year of medical school with less time to play Minecraft but it will always drive my curiosity, this game, like I'm so curious and just the new 1.19 update with, with the warden and I still remember when I was playing Minecraft uh, on my phone there wasn't a nether, you had to use a nether reactor in a specific configuration and once you tap on the nether reactor it'll build like a mini miniature version of nether in the overworld How long have you played Minecraft? and like how, how do you think Minecraft has like brought you? Like, what, what Minecraft has brought you to your life, like, in terms of creativity, friends, in terms of uh, funness as well? Yeah. This is Ryan. He's currently a support worker in the NHS operating theatre, and he is finishing a care certificate to allow him to go to the ward soon. Well, yeah, so, I mean, I've been playing Minecraft for a really long time. I mean, I think I first played it when I was about, like, nine years old, uh, when I was in primary school. So, yeah, it's been, it's been a really long time. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of my favourite games, it's brought me a lot of fun, so like, yeah. in high school I, um, I made a lot of new friends, just played Minecraft together, made loads of good memories, uh, and in terms of other things, you know, such as like problem solving, um, spatial reasoning, that, that sort of stuff, Minecraft helped me a lot, especially when you have to learn how to, you know, like sort of plan builds, build together, work as a team, all those are um, quite relevant skills, I think, in terms of uh, playing together in Minecraft and, you know, having fun. Yeah. I've always been a Minecraft Pocket Edition player. I never really had a computer powerful enough to run Minecraft Java Edition on. So I remember back in the old days when I was building maps, there wasn't redstone on the MCP edition. So we used the signs along with gravel and water and sand and to link up signals to build a, a thing called redstone alternative. So signs are used instead to convey signals over a long distance in Minecraft. You have like a survival world, like an SMP yeah. SMP world, don't you? Like, so like how long has the SMP world, like how long has it been built, built for? Well, we've been, we've been sort of switching, uh, switching worlds every time we get more. Uh, overall, we've been sort of going for about, I think about four years. Um, yeah, about four years of just uh, lots of different worlds, trying stuff out. Um, building lots of new projects, that sort of thing, and we just keep, keep sort of going with it. Building and creating maps and creating forum posts and videos on MC forums, for example, has taught me the creative skills so important in this modern world, such as digital design and online marketing. At 12 years old, I managed to learn how to build a forum post promoting my website map, build a website where players can download the map from, design a banner art showcasing screenshots of the adventure map, built and edited a video trailer for the map, I've learned so many transferable skills, which obviously can be applied outside of Minecraft in this modern age. Playing Minecraft has also taught me discipline. In, in this survival world, for example, in which I've built over the years, I've sort of had some great visions of great grand ideas. For example, this village project in which I'm trying to build a house for every single profession of villagers and I've still not yet completed the project. It is a grand vision. With Minecraft survival, you've seen with FWIPs, with other YouTubers, that you really need great discipline and resilience to build these big, massive projects, especially in survival. And uh, after realizing and playing Minecraft, and if you want to build these grand projects, it's really, really important because 
you stay motivated because you've got to gather the resources which probably takes up a lot of your time and you also have to think about the building process and you're in survival you might die uh, there's complications that come your way and it is ultimately very rage inducing sometimes for example when a creeper comes blow your stuff up or uh, when your material you found is not in the place that you found and it is sometimes really really frustrating especially playing hardcore or survival minecraft is very very stressful sometimes is also part of a learning process and like any other project in for example real life when you're trying to start a business when you're trying to do a project in school or a project or a revision in in university or secondary school you have to be resilient you can't just give up and just like oh yeah i'm not studying today uh, same with Minecraft, playing this game, building these projects, building these houses with many ongoing projects at the same time is closely parallels to what I have in real life. For example, building this house here took me like a few weeks and interior design is still not yet complete. It does really train what your resilience is in real life and that is the beauty of it. And this world here it took me so long to build. It's pretty much all maxed out. We beat the Ender Dragon, we got Neverite armor. So, and as you can see, I have this grand vision of building this little railway track railway system linking my iron farm all the way to this base. And it's going to be automatic, redstone powered. But um, the project didn't come to life, but that's okay. With projects, you can always uh, resume and pause. Same with what you will do in real life. I'm very thankful for these creators on YouTube repopularizing this game like PewDiePie and hardcore Minecraft players such as Wadzi, Fwip and these these creators have sort of brought life back into Minecraft and no matter how rage inducing, frustrating or boring this game can get. Do you think uh, Minecraft has taught you anything in terms of because for me for building wise like survival wise it's really easy to quit building a big project yeah. How how has it like sort of allowed you to make sure you stay on track, like disciplined on like for example building yeah. a big project in Minecraft? Yeah, well I don't sort of weird thing to say because it is it's kind of just a video game, but uh, you know, wh whenever we start a big project I always make sure that um, we have a plan in mind and uh, I try and stick to it as much as possible. Um, and yeah, just uh, if you have a sort of concrete plan um, and stick to it I think uh, it's hard to go wrong really and that's something that you know obviously carries over to a lot of different things on like studies and stuff it's helped me build my discipline in studying mm. and uh, practicing other other sort of hobbies so yeah so in conclusion keep playing what you love your time is limited in life and certainly do hobbies that will have a certain impact to your life and happiness getting into university life myself i've soon realized that you really do have control of all the time in 24 hours every single day you could decide to join a society you could decide to skip lectures you could decide to study be productive you could decide to make youtube videos you could decide to do anything in the whole wild world and it is really up to your control and your discipline to do what you want in life and what you love and what you want to achieve click here for more awesome videos and i'll see you guys in my next video hasta luego